Hi, my name is Lauren Peltz. I'm Belize Plastic Surgery's physician assistant. Thank you for choosing us to help you get through your cosmetic journey. This video is kind of meant as a general overview of what to expect for post-op recovery. I like to take these calls in kind of a stepwise fashion. We always go over a little topic, stop so you can ask questions um, before we move on. I kind of go from the outside in. So thinking about, you know, how you're dressed down to your medications. First kind of step will be your garment. So we wheel you out of the OR already bundled up, dressed in your post-op garment. So every surgery is unique. Every garment is specific to the type of surgery. We size you in the OR, so it's appropriate. You're getting that adequate amount of compression. Compression is so important after surgery. Just kind of keeps swelling under control. Next kind of layer under the garment is foam. So this foam is it's magical stuff. It helps with bruising, helps with swelling, and it helps protect the incisions from kind of rubbing against the garment. Foam is sticky. The sticky side will go against your skin. And it's very important that they're placed exactly how they are in the OR. So everything will be labeled. Um, they'll kind of be marked because it's important for your caregiver to put them back on. Foam's reusable. It's to be worn 24 seven for six weeks. Um, so it also is helpful for your caregiver to take a picture before they start peeling stuff off um, so they can put it back on where they found it. Any kind of gap can kind of put a hiccup in recovery. So it's important that that is placed together and keeps the results smooth as well. Under the foam, when you take that foam off, you'll see all your dressings, steri strips, um, this plastic dressing, whichever kind of is unique to your surgery. Leave those intact. All dressings will be changed at your one week appointment. So if you're getting drains, um, you'll also see the drains at this kind of third layer. Drains are sutured in place. Um, they're sutured really well. They're not gonna fall off. So I kind of go a step-by-step -step how to take care of your drain. All right, drains 101. Drains are super important after surgery. They get rid of all of that excess fluid, prevents collection called a seroma. So we'll teach you how to take care of a drain. It's super easy, anyone can do it. So first step, you always wanna wash your hands, put on gloves, whatever kind of makes you feel comfortable. The drain kind of looks like this. It will be pinned onto the front of your garment. Unpin it, you're gonna take with the hand that's closest to the, to the body. The drain is sutured in place, so it's not gonna fall out. Um, with the hand that's closest to that suture, you're gonna pinch off that tube. With your other hand, you're gonna take an alcohol pad, wrap it around the tube, and pinch off this side. So pinch, pinch. While this hand stays in place, you're going to slide down the tube. So this kind of gets rid of any clots that form inside the tube. If you have to do it a couple times, then kind of call this stripping the drain. Kind of strip that drain of all the clots. Um, you obviously don't want anything clogging that tube. You want to have the fluid continue to pour out. So do that a couple times, all the way down into the bulb. So there's a little cap on the bulb. You want to uncap it. Whenever it's uncapped, it kind of pops open. So there's numbers on the side of the bulb. These are the numbers you want to use to measure the output. We measure the output three times a day. You'll get a little chart. You want to record it um, morning, afternoon, evening. Total it up at the end of the day. That 24-hour output is a number we care about. When that number gets low enough, we can take the drains out because your body starts to take over the work. So once you've marked your output on the chart, you want to empty it. So I recommend using kind of a disposable cup. You pour it over, squeeze into the cup, and then flush that fluid down the toilet. You want it back to suction. So you're going to squeeze and cap. Then pin it back on the garment. You don't want it kind of swinging around to gravity. My two rules regarding drain care, 
You never want to do this. Once you do this, uh, it's now not sterile. Bacteria can kind of float in, straight, direct line into the body. Second rule is you never want to rinse out the bulb. You know, it's tempting, so there can be those little clots that get stuck in there, but you never want to put anything inside to rinse it out. I promise, drain care is really easy. You got this. Post-surgery diet is really important. People sometimes forget. Protein is the most important aspect of healing. We recommend you getting 75 to 100 grams of protein while you're recovering. Protein helps with your tissues recovering, um, the incisions look better, you're just overall healthier. So make sure you get some Boost and Shore, whey protein scoops powder, um, in addition to a diet high in protein. Reducing the amount of carbohydrates and sodium in your diet, that'll just make you swell. Stay hydrated, drinks with electrolytes, Gatorade, Powerade, um, that'll also just replenish you after surgery. Medications are very unique to each patient, of course. I always go over um, medications with you and your caregiver. It's very important that your caregiver is aware of how to administer these medications. I think this is the most important part of post-op recovery, to make sure you're comfortable. If you're uncomfortable, just prolongs the healing process. So we go over each medication in detail, how to administer it, how long you're to take it. We give you a list, a chart, um, and all instructions will be on the bottle. I send meds about a week or two before surgery so you can get everything ready and prepared ahead of time. So with any surgery, it's very important to have all of your ducks in a row. This includes childcare, pet care, time off of work, cooking, cleaning, Patients with the smoothest recovery have all of those things ahead of time. You wanna go home after surgery and just be able to relax, not think about anything but you. This is your time, this is for you. Your caregiver plays a very vital role in how you recover. If you don't have adequate help, this can greatly hinder your recovery. This is why I do this, this is why you see the video, so everyone can feel confident and comfortable and how you heal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful, made you feel more comfortable. So look forward to taking care of you.